And nice we are live. Hi, guys. Everybody. <laughs> Welcome. Oops. Better into the frame of the camera. There we go. That's better. Welcome. Hello, everybody. Live stream number seven. Number seven. Yay. <laughs> seven. You'd think we'd get, we'd be getting better at this, but no. But we're not. We're not. Still total. Still just drinking beer, though. Amateurs. <laughs> it's my fourth beer today, by the way. Fantastic. Yeah, I know. It's going to be an early night for you. Uh... <laughs> It's my off day. So we've got a lot to... Ooh. Facebook's back. Nice. So hello, Facebook. Hello, Twitter. Hi, Kickstarter followers. Welcome. Um, yeah, so we've got a lot to, to talk about today, actually. Uh, a lot has happened in the in the week, which is... Um, I'm sure you've seen that we've been a lot busier uh, as things start to ramp up right yeah. into the right into the sky. <laughs> uh, so what we have is our first exciting news is uh, our dear friend, Frederick, uh, who is the illustrator for... That game that came out before us from uh, Black Box Adventures, who are currently making a game for Dudamare on Kickstarter right now. Yep. You can pledge if you haven't already heard of it. It's it's fun. It's seafood. It's crazy. It's pasta. It's it's, it's basically a, a, a fight to to demil of a spuffle plate of spaghetti. It's lecker, <laughs> super lecker. In Dutch, when we say mmm lecker, it means it's delicious. We do that overhand. Don't ask me why. Lecker. Yeah. So lecker. <laughs> it's because it's better if you hear the food and smell it. Um, <laughs> So, uh, yes, yeah, so what we have here is uh, some of the, the beta artworks that Frederick has sent to us, um, showing off some of the characters. These are very beta um, coloring, uh, so it's yeah. going to look better, They're, but I'll give you an idea this, of what yeah, he's doing. It was uh, like the first draft coloring, you said, right? He was mm -hmm. like, I'm not happy with it yet, but still we need a lot of work. And we looked at it, and we were like... A uh, direct quote from me was... Um, He's going to get sued by Pixar because it looks too good. <laughs> True. What's your quote? Yeah. yeah. yeah I'm going to put that right in the box. So. Okay. So. so what we got here is uh, some of the characters, and I will bring it in. So there you can see the Poisserer, the Barbarian, and the Glass Assassin. You see it's already very kind of Pixar-y related fun. There you go. See some of the characters already. So that's, that's just some preliminary designs. They're looking great. They're looking really good. Next up, we have we have the pale. Uh, sorry, we have the. It's backwards. So we have the rum rotter. Mm -hmm. We have our beautiful pine cess. So pretty. And our ever so handsome pale aid. Pale pale Elden. Elden. Yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm getting tongue tied in my own game. Last couple of play tests as well. The uh, the fellow play tests were saying Palal Palal Palalaladen. So it's become so there Palalaladen. You go. So there's uh, there's your there's your first two previews. Oh wow! Look at that. Yeah, it kind of fits together. Oh, that's amazing. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Can you can you manage? Hang on. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. There you go. There you right. go. So that's kind of there's kind of a little bit of the idea of what's going on here. If you if you do you want to do you want to reveal it just from the video so whoever sees the video gets like a bit of a, an insider. Yeah, so this yeah. will actually lead, um, I guess, into our, into our, into our pledge events, which we'll discuss a little more. Uh, one of the ideas with how the characters were gonna work is we were actually going to put them um, as a mural poster. Uh, so one of our pledge amounts would be the full poster with all nine characters, maybe 10, wink. Um, <laughs> so you would get a long poster like this of all the characters hanging together, and then each, each uh, drawing would just be a frame from this picture of uh, of each character, and the uh, the background will be a fantasy bar scene, which uh, it will be inside Bar Pig, Bar Pig the bar, exactly. Bar Pig our game. So that's the scenery Frederick's also going to make for the background, and um, also just to make it very clear, whenever one of the characters is selected for the card, the um, accompanying characters will actually be taken out of frame. So you will only have the character with the. Uh, associated bits and bobs they're holding, and you won't see like half another character in the background or something because that would just look off. So we've already had a sample of what it looks like. We're not going to show that this time. I'm going to wait till we actually have an even better card because this already is is kind of a nice step up there. I'm going to show you guys the next. Step. We have to have material for next week. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Although next getting? week will be probably another interview yeah. uh, like we had the week before. Um, which was just more of us goofing off for 30 minutes and delivering some information. So much fun, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, should, I, should, should we talk about the pledges? Um, yes, and I'm going to grab something. 
Keep talking. All right, sure. <laughs> He's got me curious now. So, uh, oh yeah, of course. Good point. That's uh, another save thing as well. Say that for the end. Do not forget that in the end. Actually, it fits in the end as well because, uh, yeah. Uh, improv. So, improv. Yes, and <laughs> Bojack Horseman fans like you out there. Um, the other uh, thing as well we've got to talk about today, which we promised last week was a week and a half ago, actually, was we're going to give you guys a lot more insight into the pledges and the rewards and the stretch goals. We've lined up our stretch goal ideas and so forth, and we will do this differently, this campaign, by not having all the stretch goals available in the start. We'll have the campaign with the uh, funding goal available with an initial stretch goal. And then as we, if we reach that, then we'll get more stretch goals and reveal them more. And, and the other thing as well is a lot of people we've seen use this, uh, use this strategy where you don't have your stretch goals right away. Mm. And then you can sort of aim your goals with some idea based on what people seem to really enjoy. What people react to and stuff. And we, we, we think we have them down, but we'd rather also be able to cater for that as the campaign continues. We've got some great ideas for stretch goals as, as it is. And of course the first two are, well, the extra character and the extra uh, item card as well. Past supporters, we have a great idea for you guys as well to kind of welcome you back into a new campaign. More on that in the coming weeks, we still got to coordinate that with different people. So there will be, uh, first just announce that there will be rewards for our returning backers. Yes, we will give you guys um, a big thank you. Yeah. 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 Um, as far as the pledge amounts are concerned, we've mentioned several times in the past, the better graphics of the game, the better look of it means that we actually are now a way more marketable product. We've talked to our retailers and other sources, and we're going to probably have a recommended retail price of 25 euros for the game. That means our Kickstarter prices, the nine euro early birds will still be there. We're going to keep those, but the Kickstarter pledge about will and be- There will be fewer uh, early bird awards yeah, as well, because that's well. something that kind of- That that kicked us uh, in the butt. Uh, yeah, that was uh, great. That we had, we had a large amount of pledge people, but um, we have to be careful with early birds this time around. That's just, yeah. that's just business. A hundred, a hundred, a hundred pledges of three euros is great. A hundred pledges, but it's 300 euros. A hundred pledges of nine euros is 900 euros. That It gets us close to a goal. Hey, someone sent a heart on Facebook, so they could- Oh, thank like you. The, yeah. That's good. <laughs> um, the other thing as well is we keep getting this message from people that um, we're, we're way too low in our prices, and that's really what's-, what's yeah. It's, yeah. That's, that's the other reason as well, why the retail price is 25. The Kickstarter base price after the early birds will be 20 euros as well. Bar Pig, again, is easy to ship, so the shipping costs will be low next to that. And I think for most people, you won't be paying more than 26 euro all in to get your game from Kickstarter, which includes shipping and everything. We're going to put this price up on the campaign page. We're working on that as well. Eventually, um, with the artwork coming from Frederick, we'll have a preview of that available, and we'll be able to ask you guys what your feedback is on that. So not yet. It still is very rough and ready, if you will. There's no well, graphics in there. If you do want to submit the feedback, uh, you know, ideas you have for stretch goals oh, or for yeah. uh, even pledge amounts, uh, we're definitely open to, to suggestions yeah, right now because, right. um, like I said, we're getting closer and closer to our launch date. Uh, we've start our board, kitchen board has started turning into a, a pile of chaos again. Um, <laughs> so good. now is the time to speak. Yes, um, absolutely. The ways to reach us, of course, again, send us a message on Facebook, send us a comment or a question on Kickstarter, tweet us. Ask me out on a date. Ask me out on a date. Excuse me. <laughs> Info at barpig.e remains our email address always. And also, if you want to comment on these videos in any of the three recordings or even on our YouTube channel, we'll get those, if, those comments and we'll reply to them. Um, Talk about the board getting full. We got one big panel of the kitchen board full at the moment. Well, of lots and lots of scribbles. You want to tell everyone about that is? Uh, yeah. So one of my old coworkers um, from my job. Um, can I say that loud where I work? I don't know. Oh yeah, you can. I don't Why know. not? I don't Why know. not? Brand Do identification. It. I'll get in trouble. <laughs> I work for a internet streaming service. That sounds a lot like Bet Mix. Yeah. It rhymes with Betmix. Yeah, there it has go. to do with network, and uh, you can you can flex. It's like YouTube, but really, really, really uh, fancy. Call it Mitflex. How about that? Uh, and it's good for <laughs> chilling. If you didn't get it, it's also a service that's great for chilling with. Yeah, total, totally chill with Mitflex. Absolutely. And suit. No. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, so one of my old coworkers, uh, she's um, 
she used to work with me, but unfortunately she found a better job. <laughs> <laughs> you did it now. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna watch him fish himself out of this one. This is great. Uh, yeah, so, so uh, <laughs> she's actually she actually has experience in um, designing uh, campaigns and uh, press releases, and mm. so she's actually teamed up with us. We're currently paying her in beer, yeah. and uh, she's helping us restructure marketing strategy. So uh, right now we've been sort of listing. Uh, what do we have? We have retailers, we have news sources, we have reviews, and we have podcasters. Um, and we're just sort of trying to build um, an army of what we call ambassadors, um, the, the, the starting people on getting that sort of tribal marketing strategy. If this doesn't make sense, just uh, go Google it. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, tribal versus viral. I think we've said it a few times in the past, the idea that if you are viral, you're trying to reach everyone with a very simple message, but the message won't carry that well. Tribal is more you are in touch with your fan base, the people that believe and support your products. And I went too fast, didn't I? Yeah. No, no, I'm just touching you. Oh, okay. I'm in touch. <laughs> uh, they're they're in touch with your product, and they support you, and you also support the people who support you. It, it becomes like a tribe that help each other, that spread the word. Word of mouth works. Tribal, viral is just screaming from top of the hill. It's a chance. So, but both strategies work for different reasons, and we've realized for us tribal is the best way to go so maybe the best way of thinking of it is um going tribal is like very strategic so it's a european game whereas going viral is like very based on chance it's a merit so trash. trash but we're a merit trash i keep saying this we are totally <laughs> a merit trash um for those who don't know about the classifications euro games are the very strategic very technical so games on that has very little um, um, reliance on chance of deck drawing and stuff like that. There are elements of pandemic? them. Pandemic? Pandemic's a little bit deck drawing, but also as well, it could be strategic. So you have a lot more in how you play the game. And Ameritrash games are the are ones that... Fun. Not true. Uh, the games that rely more on chance, like more down to the dice roll or how you argue with each other. So for instance, um, uh, Munchkin or uh, Cards Against Humanity, Secret Hitler, and Bar Pig. Our Ameri trash. I think it's Canadian trash, actually. It's Canada trash because they're diff different countries. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Canada, tra <laughs> it's a Canada trash. Um, and um, for instance, Elder Scrolls Catan, like you said, pandemic to a certain level as well. Um, Dead of Winter, to a certain extent, also no, because that that kind of cash and guns. Uh, cash. No, that's that's random. That's Ameri trash. Jinx. Phil, Phil, Phil. Thank you. You're lucky. Um, it takes five hours. Moving on. <laughs> yeah. Um, Mm. So what we're doing uh, in terms of if you want to become an ambassador, um, it's just people who can sort of help us get our, our product out there. So I mean, as an ambassador, excuse me. Um, so we uh, so when we, we're talking about ambassadors, we're talking about people that we can supply um, extra, you know, inside info on. Yeah. Um, um, a, a very example, reviewers, uh, the guys that roll for Crit, who helped us up big time, the uh, the guys at guys. Pixie as well, uh, Crystarium Network, all these people, uh, Noxus Bellinsol, a GME gamer, Girl Gamer Galaxy. We've got a lot of good ties of really some fantastic people that do great content creation and management for the whole community. So we kind of want to give them an inside track, actually. We kind of want to give them special content and stuff like that so that they have a oomph to the story, which is also our story, but gets them something cool as well to share with their fans. Mm -hmm. So win win, I guess, right? But it also means that we're gonna be focusing on on having more events here in Amsterdam. So Yeah, true. Keep following our Facebook and our Twitter and you'll see more events uh, coming up. The Facebook calendar is filling up fast. Shall yeah, I it's a good segue. That was my hint. Ah nice. Got it. Okay. So yeah, events. This um, is our seventh live stream. We figured course. out the formula. <laughs> Is there a formula? We just have a still, still just uh, scribbling away. Next week we get a teleprompter. Yes, literally. No. Today on bar pick. No. <laughs> Moving on. Moving on. Uh, events. We've uh, been at several events this last couple of weeks. We've been participating in several game events. Um, tonight we're actually going to Utrecht again to join the people at the Utrecht Spelt Gaming Group, uh, and that's also co-hosted by Subcultures Game Shop. Speak of ambassadors. It's another great one as well. If you're ever in Utrecht, check them out. They have an amazing, amazing store, and they have everything for gaming. It's kind of cool. Plus, a love for gaming. Everyone that works there loves it. Um, and it's it's pushes like that you get for being an ambassador. <laughs> this has been funded by some. 
Jeez. Uh, no. Um, so yeah, that's that's what we've been doing as well recently, and also last Saturday we attended the Duco Sim uh, game convention. They have a convention every uh, every four months, three times a year. It's a Dutch gaming association which you become a member of, and they all hold a spring, a summer, and an autumn convention where. People can come sell games, they can trade games, but also uh, publishers can show the wares and indies and newbies like us can come and book out a few tables and show us stuff. It was a lot of fun. Unfortunately, Phil had to work, so I had... I'll just, you just talk on your own. Bye. Uh, I had a lot of fun. Um, I was helped by dear friends, Katarina. You can come back in if you want. <laughs> Katarina and Nika. Uh, Nika is a super avid gamer. She loves Biopic and several of the games, and she's really competitive too, which makes it more fun. Katarina, of course, our good friend that has helped us out since day one. Nika's competitive? I don't know. Hello, Manir, and we got from uh, okay, lol, uh on Twitter. We are fine, thanks. Asking how we're doing. We're fine. We're having a good fun talk. Kuzelik. Kuzelik. And a beer. Like a beer. So, Katarina is a good friend. She's helped us out from uh, the day one. In our development and our play testing, uh, Michiel has asked uh, maybe another way to say your company is JetMix. Yeah, that was. Oh, that's kind of like my job and your job. So um, <laughs> we had fun at uh, Duco Sim. We played, I think, like seven games or something like that. And we even uh, actually thank you, thank you. had a lot of fun. Uh, at one point, we had to explain how we would uh, attack a train station, you know, and all of us a lot of creative ways to upset the national railway system. So much fun. Can you can you talk about that on the internet? Upset. I didn't say terrorized. <laughs> ah, <laughs> cut, 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 cut. Fix it in post. So um, that was it was it was really a good afternoon. Um, very exhausting, but very much worth it. And we also got to talking to someone who is a distributor for games because apparently we were the noisiest can table in that? the convention. I'm just going to say that and leave okay. it there. Because we started emailing back and forth. He's also liked and commented on our Facebook page. So if you want to know who it is, that's how you can find out. <laughs> um, also, we're still uh, filling the calendar up with more events coming up. The one on the calendar coming up uh, this Saturday in six days is... Um, I grab it here. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Pop, and uh, pop and play it. Pop and park. Yeah, yeah, zoom. Hi, Fabio. Welcome. Ba -ba 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 -ba. There you go. And so feet. if you're in Amsterdam, this is the place to be at. Yeah. Details to follow as soon as I'm done showing everybody where we're going to be at. Pop and play. It'll be in Pop and Park this Saturday, the 27th of May, I think it's date, right? And it starts at midday at 12. Hi. Oh, hello. <laughs> uh, Pop and Park is a indoor park, but it's super airy. They're going to open the windows up, I think. And uh, there's going to be lots of other developers there from all range of gaming. It's not only board games, like, well, uh, Black Box Adventures, the guys from Revenge of the Dictators will be there, but they're going to be showing off their new game with Fruity Dimari. So we're excited to play that too, because it looks like a lot of fun. Uh, there's also going to be uh, a guy that's made a game where you can actually mix and uh, remix your own music uh, on the uh, go. Our trick friends. track, I think. Trick track, that's it. Uh, there's also a couple other um, mobile platform plus computer platform game developers. Four Horsemen Games will be there. They're the ones hosting the event, and they're going to be showing off their uh, very, very fun game, which is a, um extrapolation on the simple game Pong. They've made it really cool. Uh, marimba, something Marimba. Um, uh, Mamba. And if Michiel is still in here, I'm pretty sure he will right now send a message saying it's called this marimba. <laughs> and I feel terrible because I remember the name like <laughs> 20 minutes ago. But we, we tried it out. It's really fun. It's put a really good twist on the Pong. And it's a great two-play game from mobile platform. Uh, all the people are going to be there are on the back of the flyer that was handed to us. So It's a free event. There's going to be uh, food and booze there as well. and Music at the end. Music at the end. Exactly. So it's going to be good fun. Spin marimba. Thank you, Michiel. <laughs> Spin marimba. So lots of fun things to have there, and of course your chance to play Bar Pig and cause havoc and chaos like we always do and love doing wherever we go. We'll bring the extra expansion cards as well, so if yeah. you guys so want... Get a sneak peek into something we're developing. Exactly. We'll show you some of the expansion ideas we have. Um, also, as far as events are concerned, we've also booked ourselves up for a certain convention in October. <gasps> what convention is it, John? I don't know. I, I think I know. I have Shall a piece we cut of paper commercial? here. 
<laughs> okay, sorry. Right, We're super excited about this. It's very sunny in Amsterdam, which never happens. So no. this is like summer has arrived. Tomorrow it's winter again. Uh, so we we have our uh, our official uh, expression. <laughs> our special uh, official receipt from uh, the booking, and it is gonna cost us relative arm and a leg. But it's just something we always wanted to do. It's something we're gonna do because Barpik's coming out. We're gonna make it happen. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. And here is, well, basically the reason it's gonna work. Because here's our receipt for Spiel. And What's Spiel, Jono? Well, I don't know. Only the world's biggest bloody gaming Not convention the biggest. ever. Second biggest. Europe's biggest. I think. Europe's biggest. Um, I think it's second or third after one or two of the packs. But it is huge. We were here last year. This is where Barpig became Barpig from Bar PG, and we got ourselves a nice little corner stand as a publisher, because all the row stands were finished, and they're like, I'll take a corner stand. I'm like, why not? We're so, gonna be a corner pub! <laughs> literally, we're going to dress it up like a pub. We're gonna yeah. have the bar pick sign hanging outside, we're gonna have it dressed up with uh, wood paneling somewhere or another. Cardboard cutouts? Who knows? So lots of fun stuff to do there, and uh, yeah, half half it's paid already. They ever have to have to pay about six weeks before it starts. So um, yeah, if you're wondering, is it ever going to come out? Hell yeah, it's going to come out. We're going to have us to now. We or have to. Very, we've we've lost a lot of money. A lot of money, which would be stupid. Although I guess you can always think of another reason to put up a stand and spiel for four days. So yeah, it's uh, for those who don't know it yet. Spiel is from the 26th to 29th of October. There you go, and so set your calendars. If you are planning a trip to Europe anytime during that time, go to Spiel, visit us, please. We're gonna be you, there. If you are interested in any kind of gaming, anything, uh, Spiel is the place to be. Oh, it's, they have it's so fun. Everything, it's insane. There's also a big comic book section that's there for those comic book geeks as well. It is insanely huge, and we're really excited to be there. Uh, and people who go to Spiel have a average life expectancy of a thousand years. Yes, apparently so. It is also one of these holy um, pilgrimage sites for the board gamers amongst us. Yeah, yeah. Spaghetti Lord. Spaghetti Lord. Uh, <laughs> may his newly appendage touch us. Uh, so yeah, so that's uh, that's the other exciting news. We're glad to, uh, happy to share with you guys today as well. Um, that pretty much wraps it up, eh? Um, I do have an idea that if we mm -hmm. don't get pledged, but we will. Um, maybe she like the Shia LaBeouf thing where you put a paper bag overhead and cut two eye holes. And and like, just, like, I am not famous anymore. I'm not famous anymore. Just stand there for four days. And then if he tries to sue us, we'll just be like, oh man, we're meta on your meta. So like, don't stand in our You arts. can't sue meta. Yeah, you can't. You can't. That's it. I mean, I think the international... Sorry, Shia LaBeouf. We did. Check, mate. Yes, done. The International Criminal Tribunal, by the way, is not The Hague. They're Dutch. Mm. And we know Dutch law because we live in Holland. Therefore, um... What's that Latin expression? Therefore, it's because Ergo of hoc that. Proctor hoc. Ergo hoc proctor hoc. I went to school, guys. Yeah, <laughs> and I never studied that. Uh, the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. Did you know that? <laughs> no, I, I know that. <laughs> That's biology. Yeah. <laughs> is it really? Yeah. Really? I have no idea. I'm I'm crap. Of your, I'm I'm a physicist. I, the physics is is my is my spiel. Biology, it's fun. It's great. I just never got it. Chemistry just annoyed me. And my best friend did chemistry. So, shout out to Stuart. F you, mate. Chemistry still sucks. Physics rules. I isn't like the two things that Dutch are known for is chemistry and physics. Yeah, literally. Yeah. So you because... and Stuart together make the Dutch science. <laughs> and if you fact... guys can make a baby, <laughs> it would be adorable. <laughs> I'm so tempted to say an R word right now, but <laughs> to do that. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't really? want to get it. Inside joke. We're, we're on live. We're on live. Okay, fine. Uh, <laughs> uh, so this is the fun of our live feeds and stuff. Um, thank you, Michiel. He's given us a lot of congrats on the developments, and we're happy to see you on Saturday as well. We really can't wait, so we're really excited about it. Uh, we'll probably have breakfast around the corner before we head off there as well So um, to set up. Actually, uh, there's oh, a bakery there that's oh. right beside the, the place that, with really good sausage rolls. <gasps> Remember? Oh, that is, is it there? It's near, is it? the, it's near where we got our bank from. We're in Amsterdam. Yes. Uh, we got a question on uh, from George on Twitter. We are in Amsterdam. So that's where we're broadcasting from right now. We would actually, we're thinking about doing the broadcast on the balcony, but the lighting was off. We would be like just fuzzy gray areas and beautiful scenery in the background, which doesn't sound bad actually thinking about it. Um, <laughs> anyways, to finish things off, yeah. Uh, next week we may actually have um, an, another guest. Uh, we'll be talking to um, the 
people, the siblings, the brother, sister people uh, from Funbase, which is like a, a thing here in Amsterdam. It's like an adult uh, play park. Hey, Fabio is in Amsterdam this week, next weekend. Send us an email and we'll give you some tips and place to go. Maybe if you want, you can meet up with us and play around the Barpik. If it's next weekend, Saturday, check in the Pop and Play event on Saturday. It's going to be good fun as well. So, and George and Twitter's we're roommates. Ass, we're roommates. <laughs> if we're friends or a couple, we always say we're roommates. That was the excuse when we trekked through Myanmar two years ago. But no, we're actually we're a couple. Yeah, a couple of roommates. <laughs> um, anyway, so <laughs> I'm holding this against you now. That's it. Um, anyways, we're uh, we'll be talking to um, Funbase. So, yeah. So uh, nice. See if they want to come by. Um, they're actually currently moving from their one place which was out to the middle of nowhere, to a new place, um, which is less out in the middle of nowhere. Maybe. But Funbase um, is a great, really, really fun uh, event location. Uh, they had done uh, board game days we participated in. They also had a room with um, uh, like a PlayStation and a Wii and stuff. They had a Nerf uh, t tournament arena, plus even had a, a ball pit. So we played Bar Pig a couple of times there. Yeah. Um, and so it's, we're really excited to get get in touch with them again. Exactly. Uh, they're really, really cool guys. And they honestly, this this business is like, think of a Chuck E. Cheese, but like not disgusting pizza and more fun stuff. Yeah. Like if Chuck E. Cheese had a room for a LAN party. That was. Uh, we're actually uh, native English. Um, someone just asked, said our English is very good. Thank you, George. Yeah. Which I hope it is, or it would feel school. <laughs> Phil's uh, Canadian by birth, I'm Australian by birth. We've both done high school and middle school in English language, so we're both fluent and native in that way. Um, oh, yeah, that's that's another thing we could quickly mention about the events. Um, Which one? Might be another event as well on the horizon. Summer Spell. No? Oh, God, yes, that's also coming in calendar. What other event are you talking about? Oh, no, about? no, uh, um, I was thinking about the other one which we also do at fun base but it's still all in the works we can't reveal tomorrow oh yeah, ah, yeah um go. that's it we yeah we'll be talking to fun base um excuse me <laughs> george asks how old we are i'm too old i'm 27 i'm three and a half and a little i'm four thousand weeks old <laughs> So um, the other e events as well, which is uh, coming up, which we're still finalizing, we're going to get to Summer Spell because we've applied for them, and they're I'll be there. John alone. The organization is working to, uh, is working with us. We're going to we'll get a table there against show for stuff, and uh, for the Saturday, definitely going to be there. We'll be there. Yeah, we'll be there. It's June seventeenth, something like that. Yeah, something like I think that. So, uh, so we'll be there, um, or rather, I'll be there, um, and that'll be that'll be great. Yeah. All right. I think we're done. Yeah, we'll talk we're more done. about Summer Spell at another time. Cool. But for now, I believe we will be bidding you adieu. Yes. And uh, keep requesting you fine bar pigs. Oh, oh, I did it. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> Bye, All right. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye. See you next week. See you we'll next week. We'll announce the live stream soon. Yeah. Bye.